Here's an update on the CCV, the oil return bypass. The unit I got from California, the um, the orifices, the the air intake with the oily air and the outlet were way too small. They actually choked the engine off. Uh, the engine was underpowered after installing the the stock CCV. Um, separator, the oil separator that I got from California. So I had to actually cut in some larger nipple sizes and use larger tubing and that did a great job. I actually moved all of the um, the coarse steel wool up into this area so now the air comes in from here, comes in this tube, goes in here, gets separated, there's a drain at the bottom, there's actually an indicator in the back to show how much oil is in the container itself and then from the top the clean air or oil separated air goes back into the intake and hopefully that will help keep the intake clean. I have removed the um, the emissions the EGR valve the oil and all that other crap but um, there's another thing with this uh, silicone hosing that main vacuum line the one that comes off the vacuum pump it goes to a, uh, a small one-way check valve that goes to your brake booster I don't recommend that you use the silicone hose the vacuum hose for that it seems to collapse down. Use the keep the original unless your original is broken. Then go to the junkyard or something and get one to replace that. That that uh, I've already replaced this line once with a smaller line, hoping that it wouldn't vacuum down. But I think we're gonna head to the junkyard to get the solid line to take care of that. And that's the update. So I uh, wish you much success if you try to install this type of system. <laughs> let me know how it goes and let me know if you have any questions. Take care. Bye bye.